<laughs> and he got snowed in. And he wrote this poem for his three daughters. It wasn't widely published for more than 60 years later. But it is such a treasure. At the J.P. Morgan Library on 34th Street, they have his original text. And this is what he wrote. was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama and her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash, and the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster at midday to objects below. When what, to my wondering, I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick, more rapid than eagles. Oh. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name on Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder, and Blitzen. And Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all! <laughs> and for I leave that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the reindeer they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and, yes, St. <laughs> Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I grew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Why, why he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His little droll mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. A stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, and <laughs> he had a broad face, and a, <laughs> and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> he was chubby and plump, right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, 
and fill those stockings and turn with a jerk and laying a finger, laying a finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod up to chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But, but, I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, say it with Santa, Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I say this all year long to all of my friends because you don't need a red suit and bells to be Santa. It's just the twinkle and the fact that the children know the men who love children. And I remind them that the definition of spirit, what is the definition of spirit? Eight ounces in a six ounce cup, it just overflows. Whoa. I look forward to working with all of you. This will be one of the greatest chapters in your life. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ha, 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 ha.